Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarguerteGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, this time around, I want to share with you some of the shaving soaps I use for my traditional wet shave. They vary in price from something on the bargain end to the moderates to something a little more on the high end. So let's get right to it. This is Williams Mug Shaving Soap. This is the most inexpensive of all these soaps here. Locally, I pay $1.29 for this single puck of Williams Mug Shave Soap. Very simply packaged. It's just a little cardboard carton with a single puck of soap there. This is tallow based. Just drop it into your mug, add a little water, a wet brush, and you get heaps and heaps of lather. Really nice performance and a terrific price. So if you're just starting out with a traditional wet shave, this is a good choice if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to learn the traditional wet shave. Nice slickness, nice protection, uh, and again, uh, really uh, inexpensive. Buck 29 for me, online, anywhere from a buck 50 to two bucks uh, per puck, depending on Amazon, eBay, that sort of thing. Uh, next up is uh, Vanderhagen Shave Soap. This is their scented luxury shave soap. This is great for sensitive skin. This is anywhere from two bucks to four bucks per puck. This is something you can drop into an apothecary mug Due to the shape, it comes in a plastic container like this, and that's what it looks like. Just drop it into a uh, apothecary mug and lather up. Uh, I found that this had great slickness, nice protection, a good fresh scent. Uh, doesn't contain any tallow, but it does have some nice moisturizers and I really did a nice job. Uh, when I came back to the traditional wet shave, this is the one I found on the shelf at a local big box store. You can probably find it at your local box, big box store or drugstore as well. Again, two to four bucks, and it really did a nice job. Um, I really liked it a lot. I still have it, and I still, still use it. Very, very good. Uh, Arco, Arco is terrific. Arco comes in a shave stick form, or also in a little puck in its own little container here. You can buy 12 shave sticks, 12 Arco shave sticks on Amazon right now for 12 bucks. That's a buck a stick. That's a real bargain because this makes heaps and heaps of lather. So all you have to do is peel it away, rub it on your face, and then face lather with your shaving brush. You can also cut this up. It's very pliable, it's very malleable. You can cut it up, press it into your own mug, and uh, just whip up a lather that way. Really nice, kind of versatile to use, great for travel. Uh, if you don't want to go through all that, they do sell this puck. It's about six or seven bucks, comes its own, in its own container. It is a nice travel size, but you can use it daily in your shaving den. And um, that's the size of it right there. And uh, really, a terrific, terrific shaving soap. Known the world over, a lot of wet shavers love it. It does have a scent uh, that is a little bit overwhelming when you first use it. I've become very used to it though. A lot of wet shavers, some wet shavers, don't really care for the scent. It's kind of like ivory soap, only maybe two or three notches higher than that. Uh, but I do like the scent. I've become accustomed to it. It's never, I never found it off-putting. But the moisturizers and the lather and the cushion and the slickness really are terrific with this shaving soap. And again, a bargain price. You can't go wrong with it. So if you got 12 bucks laying around, you get 12 sticks, it's going to last you a long time. There are some other shaving sticks that sticks. There are some other shaving sticks that fall into that category. Palmolive and Derby, they do a really nice job. The price on these varies, but they are... Uh, Moderately priced, I put them in the bargain category depending on where you go to find these. eBay, Amazon, or another uh, online outlet. So these are really nice as well. Next up in the bargain category is Colonel Conk. Colonel Conk makes some terrific glycerin-based soaps. These are great. You can, you can get a three-pack of their lime soap for $11. That's a great price. Uh, they also make other scents like amber, bay rum, almond. So uh, they really kind of cover a wide spectrum of scents and they're all glycerin based. So they offer a lot of slickness. Uh, use a little more water when you're building a lather, but the lather is 
really nice and slick, gives you some really, really nice, comfortable, close shaves. And again, I put it in the bargain category because it's not a lot of money for a three pack. Depending on if you buy a three pack or a four pack, price is gonna vary a little bit and depending on the scent that you buy. But Colonel Conks is one that you should check out. Glycerin based, I like it a lot. You can also, if you've seen any of my videos, you can also melt these and then pour them into a mug or bowl of your choice and it will form to that so lathering will be a little bit easier. The, uh, the puck won't be sliding around in there. It will be actually formed to your mold or bug, your, your bowl or mug of choice. So Colonel Conks, another great choice. I got to mention this, these two here. I bought them on Italian Barber. I don't know if they sell them anymore. Fresco Verde, Sandalwood, I think they made another scent. This is like a 4.2 ounce uh, amount of uh, shaving soap. It's uh, eh, kind of a hard soap, a little bit of a crope. Uh, I would just add some hot water and then whip up a ladder with this. Uh, $2.50 a piece. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't buy more of the Fresco Verde because beautiful fresh scent and really nice performance. Probably one of the better bargain soaps I've ever purchased. I've seen these on eBay for about $12 and $13 a piece. You might want to contact Italian Barber and see if they're ever going to bring these back. I don't see them up there now. But boy, this was a heck of a deal. The sandalwood scent, eh, really not in my wheelhouse, but still a nice performance. But this Fresco Verde, wow. Love the scent, love the performance. $2.50. I hope they bring it back. Now, okay, I'm dropping into the video at this point because when I reviewed all these soaps, I didn't have this. From the Chagrin Valley Soap and Sav Company. Their Rugged Spice Natural Shaving Soap, made from organic ingredients, USDA certified. This is wonderful shaving soap. If you're looking for a natural shaving soap, this will absolutely fit the bill. And it's only six and a half dollars for a three and a half ounce puck. It's two and three eighths inches in diameter. So it will fit any apothecary shaving mug or bowl that you might have. There it is right there in mine. Sits in there nicely, very firm, doesn't, doesn't move around or slosh around. Uh, builds a beautiful lather. The lather is not really big and thick, but is, it is substantial and it is very, very slick and gives you a great deal of protection. I've had some wonderful shaves the past week just using this soap. I mean, my skin has responded in a very positive way and I've gotten a great deal of protection from it. Uh, I've I uh, haven't had to use any pre-shave oil with this. All I do is just put some hot water on top of the puck, take my shower, come out, I dump this into the sink and I use that water to uh, wet my face and start to shave. And there is a slickness in that water that really acts as a pre-shave. Then I get my, uh, my wet brush and a few swirls and I do a face lather and I have a beautiful, beautiful lather. Uh, to work with. Really, really very nice. I was very surprised and uh, a terrific, terrific price point if you're looking for a natural shaving soap. They also make a lemon lime scented shaving soap like this. Same size, same price. I haven't tried that yet, but it's on my list. I'm really looking forward to trying that. So the Chagrin Valley Soap and Sav Company's uh, Rugged Spice uh, Natural Shaving Soap, and they named it right it is a very masculine, uh, terrific spice scent. So check this out, only six and a half dollars if you're looking for a natural soap. And some of these others here might not work for you. There are some wet shavers out there who um, face uh, issues of uh, having skin irritation and that sort of thing from some of the, uh, the commercial soaps. Try this natural soap. Uh, really, I'm, I'm really enjoying using it. And uh, it really has given me a lot of great protection and my skin feels great. All right, Rugged Spice, Chagrin Valley Soap and Salve Company. Now, getting into the moderate price soaps, of course, Parasso, $10 for this, uh, this tub of soap. It's about 5.2 ounces. Let me take a look. Yeah, 5.2 ounces, 150 milliliters. This is terrific, terrific soap. It's more along the lines of a crope. So you could just add a little bit of hot water here and load your brush from it or just scoop out a little bit put it into a shape and put it into a shaving bowl. Makes heaps and heaps of lather. This is a menthol and eucalyptus scent. Uh, love this uh, Parasso Green, 10 bucks. You can't go wrong with it. You get a lot of great shaves from this, uh, 
from this soap. They also make some companion aftershaves and balms for, for this brand. They also make uh, a nice variety of scents, sandalwood, uh, something for sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend that one. Really, really nice. Ten bucks, Italian-made uh, shaving soap. Can't go wrong with it. Uh, another Italian-made shaving soap is Cella. Cella, again, is another soft soap, a croak. Uh, this is an almond and cherry scent. Uh, boy, this is this is terrific. Same amount as Parasol, just a different kind of container. And uh, again, this is about 13 bucks. Uh, but boy, terrific scent, great slickness, built heaps of lather, nice moisturizers, a really, really nice soap. Uh, some wet shavers say that it smells like Christmas cookies, so that's kind of what the scent is, but you can use it any time of the year. Really a terrific, terrific soap. Again, Italian Barber had another really terrific deal with these, with these three pucks of shaving soap. Uh, they're, it's what the puck, it's a three and a half ounces, uh, but these are hard triple milled soaps. I mean, that's a hard soap there. It came in three scents. Uh, it came in um, Lime Burst, Barbershop Blue, or Blue Barbershop, and um, Orange Sunrise. Uh, the Orange Sunrise, beautiful citrus scent. The Lime, uh, lime Burst, uh, again, another beautiful scent. And the uh, blue barbershop is like a flowed blue. Um, but these three were, or are, on their website, $13, $13, $14. That's a really nice deal. I think I paid less for that. Uh, I, I think I paid less than that price. I think I paid like $8 or $9. This was a great, great deal. Uh, so get up there and check and see if it's still in stock. And if not, uh, you can get a reminder on it. Because these are triple milled. They're hard soaps. I believe they're made in Italy. Terrific, terrific soap and a great moderate price for them. And look, you get three pucks for, uh, you know, not a lot of money. Really, really nice. Uh, next up for something that's a little higher price. Uh, first up is uh, Clubman by Pinot. Now I put it over here because you only get two ounces and it's about six or seven bucks, five, six, seven bucks, that's about six bucks for two ounces of this shave soap. And it is a softer soap, like uh, some, like the Parasso and the uh, the Cella, but not not overly soft. But um, because it's only two ounces, uh, if you were to buy say four or five ounces and have a four or five ounce tub, it would probably be anywhere from twelve to fifteen bucks, which is why I put it over here. Nice performance, great Clubman scent. If you've ever used Pinot Clubman, same scent as that classic aftershave. Nice slickness, nice cushion. I like it a lot. The only problem is it's a two ounce tub. Good for travel, but if you use it every day in your shaving den, you're gonna burn through it in no time. And I <laughs> and I have been burning through it because I like it a lot. I guess I'm gonna have to modify my routine with it a little bit. But um, it really is a nice shaving soap. That's why I put it over here. So it is a little more on the pricey end. Uh, Rather than over here, it kind of goes over here. Next up is Pré de Provence. Boy, this is $13 for a 5.25 ounce uh, tub of this. It comes in a wonderful tin with a screw cap. This is a hard, hard soap. I believe it's triple milled. It's made in France. It's not towel based. Beautiful, beautiful French, fresh scent. Really like this a lot. Makes great lather, heaps of lather. Nice moisturizers. I was really, really surprised by this. A lot of wet shavers really like Pré de Provence. I really like it, and I hope I pronounced it right. My uh, French viewers overseas, let me know if I pronounced it correctly. Uh, but really, a nice soap. I was very surprised with it. I'm so happy that I have it uh, as part of my routine and uh, love pulling this out and shaving with it. Got to talk about Tabak. Tabak is fantastic. It is a German soap. It is old school scent. When you think of an old school barbershop scent, uh, you're talking about Tabak. Comes in a ceramic bowl like this. It is uh, not overly hard, but not overly soft soap. It's right in between a crope and a really hard soap. Very, very nice. 
I just put a little bit of hot water in there just to kind of soften things up and then get my brush going loaded up and then lather on my face. It's terrific. This is about $24 for the ceramic bowl and the puck of soap that it comes in. That comes in it. The refill is, how much is the refill? The refill is $17, so that's what you're looking at. So you can just buy the refill if you want to and put it in your own mug. But if you want the ceramic bowl with the lid, you can get that and just buy the refills and keep throwing them in there. So it's kind of a neat thing that you don't have to buy a shaving bowl. You can just buy this for $24 and get uh, a shaving bowl of sorts with the soap in there. Really nice. Like this stuff a lot. When I first used it, loved the scent, loved the lather, loved the slickness, the moisturizers. Tabak is great stuff. They also make a shaving stick for about seven, eight bucks. Uh, a little larger than the other shaving sticks I showed you, but the same great Tabak soap and scent. Terrific. Just rub it on your face and do a face lather. This is really a nice, nice product. And again, good for travel or good for daily use in your shaving den. All right, now let's get to kind of the high-end products I have here. I wouldn't call Mitchell's wool fat too high-end, but this ceramic bowl and the soap that comes inside is $37. That's what the price is currently on Amazon. Uh, it is a terrific, terrific shaving soap. It contains lanolin. I believe it's tallow-based. This shaving soap really is a premium, premium shaving soap. The refill costs about $17. So if you buy this for $37, you can just put the refill in. If you just want to buy the refill for $17 and put it into your own bowl or mug, you know what? You can do that too and save a little bit of money. But I bought the bowl just to show you that that's how it comes packaged. And I really have gotten some terrific performance out of this. Great moisturizers, great slickness, great cushion. Really, this is top-notch soap. Uh, between this and Tabak, I give the performance edge a little bit to this, uh, to Mitchell's Wool Fat. Tabak kind of beats it on scent because I love that Tabak scent, but that's just a personal preference. But Mitchell's Wool Fat Shaving Soap is terrific. It does have lanolin in it, so if you have an allergic condition to lanolin, be aware of that. It does contain lanolin. But boy, there are some, just some great moisturizers and softeners in there. Really gives you a really close, close shave. Uh, like it a lot. Now, last but not least, on the high, I would say on the high end, is the Art of Shaving. This is their sandalwood shaving soap. This single puck here is $30. If you were to buy this puck from Art of Shaving with this bowl, uh, you're going to pay $50. Now, the good news is this teak wooden bowl I've seen on Amazon for about $12. So I'll have a link below. I believe it's the same bowl, although don't quote me on that. It appears to be the same bowl. But I recall when I bought the uh, shave soap and the bowl from Art of Shaving, I spent the $50 for it because I had come back to a wet shave and I was looking for all these other options. And... Uh, there was a local art of shaving store in a mall and I just went in there and uh, the sales rep there was very knowledgeable and um, really sold me on a lot of their product line. Uh, this is terrific soap. Uh, it is not tallow based, but it gives you some really great uh, slickness and performance. The sandalwood scent is probably one of the best uh, in the industry. Really love that sandalwood scent. And, of course, the puck is shaped for this bowl, so you can just drop it right in and it fits perfectly. Um, I, I, um, I did save some money, though, recently in that uh, not so long ago uh, on eBay, someone offered new old stock of these shaving pucks for 10 bucks a piece. So I bought three of them for $30. So I got three for the price of one. And the new old stock was their tallow-based formula which I prefer. Its performance is eh, maybe a little bit better than their newer formula now, but that's really a personal preference. Some people prefer to have a non-tallow-based soap. Other people prefer a tallow-based soap. It's just a, a, an individual preference. But uh, 
I went after this because of the price, because I was able to get a three pack for $30. Whereas uh, if you buy a single one from Amazon or the Arbor Shaving Store, it's $30. Uh, both tallow and non-tallow are very, very good. And the sandalwood scent is identical. But the non-tallow based product uh, I used early on in coming back to the traditional wet shake, and it did a wonderful, wonderful job. I highly, highly recommend their soaps and creams. Very, very good, but yes, higher end price. Uh, so that's it. That's everything that I have here to show you today. From bargain price to moderate to something that's a little more high end uh, in shaving soaps. Really, really uh, terrific number of products out there. If you're not doing the traditional wet shave, do it. There is so much product out there from soaps and creams and blades and razors and brushes and aftershaves and pre-shaves. It's amazing. It's true what they say. If your morning shave isn't the best part of your day, you're doing it wrong. And you have all of these options out there to experiment. And it meets all budgets from some from the bargain to the moderate to the high end. Whatever you want to spend, you'll get nice performance and uh, you'll get a satisfying result. So this is what it, this is this is what it entails. This is just scratching the surface. There's so much more out there. So you might want to uh, try some of these and uh, really let me know how they work for you. That's it. So I wanted to mention to you, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please share, please hit that subscribe button and subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Um, comment below, let me know. Do you use any of these? Are you using something different that I haven't covered here? Please let me know. And please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.